Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tara and I absolutely love food. I love to cook, I love to eat, I love to watch videos about cooking. If you love food, all things food, or just watching videos about food, this is the channel for you. I would really love it if you would subscribe. You do that by hitting the red subscribe button below and be sure to hit the bell icon. That way you don't miss anything. Today, I am gonna be sharing one of my all-time favorite recipes I've been making since I was seven years old in my Brooklyn Italian-American home, and I wanna share it with you. If you love Italian and you have been looking for an easy but incredibly delicious pasta sauce, today is the day I am gonna be unveiling my delicious Italian pasta sauce and we are also gonna be making meatballs. I have to tell you, I love meatballs. I love these meatballs. They are so good, delicious, easy to make, and we are gonna be making this in my new favorite appliance, the Instant Pot. If you don't have an Instant Pot, you can still make this recipe just on the stove. I will leave complete instructions in the description box below. But if you do have an Instant Pot, this recipe only takes 10 minutes. What? What? Did I just say 10 minutes? You got that right. Be sure to stay until the end of the video. I am gonna be sharing a low carb version of spaghetti and meatballs. It is so good. Okay guys, let's hop right into the video. Okay guys, let's get started. So I have some fresh basil and some fresh parsley and I just grabbed a big handful of each, rinsed it, and dried it off and now I am just slicing it up into very small pieces. You don't want to crush it because otherwise you can make it brown. And then I'm grabbing about six to seven cloves of garlic and one yellow onion. And a great hack that I like to do is I like to puree my onion. That way you're not biting into it in the marinara sauce. And so I use my Vitamix cups for this and it works just absolutely perfect with just a drizzle of filtered water to help it to blend up and... Ugh, I love it. And so now I'm grabbing a nice medium sized bowl and I'm adding, this is one half of the onion and about six or so cloves of garlic. I'm taking half of the fresh herbs into that bowl and I'm setting it aside. And now I am gonna blend up the remaining onion and garlic. I'm reserving just small, tiny piece of onion just to add some texture to the meatballs. And I'm grabbing one of my favorite wines, Chateau Thomas Merlot. Ah, oh, so delicious, love it. And now I have set this aside. Perfect. Great. And I decided I wanted to actually add a little bit more fresh garlic. I absolutely love garlic. If you're not a big fan of garlic, you don't have to add quite as many as, as this. But I'm going to use my garlic press for this. I love this garlic press. It really makes it so easy in order to, to, to mince it up. And I wanted to do it this way. That way there's a nice pronounced flavor of garlic when I start the sauce. So here I have two pounds of grass-fed, 90% lean ground sirloin. And I absolutely love this type of meat and I'm adding a nice sprinkle of salt and pepper and two tablespoons of hazelnut flour and two tablespoons of unsweetened almond milk. You can actually use any kind of milk you like. And if you don't wanna use hazelnut flour, I did this to keep it grain free. You can also use um, breadcrumbs and that works perfect. So now I am rolling out the meatballs to just even size pieces. You can use a cookie scoop to do this. I didn't wanna dirty a cookie scoop, so I'm just rolling them out to about the same size. And you'll know the meatballs are the right of the right texture when it feels not too moist and not too dry. So now with my Instapot, I have set it to saute and put a drizzle of olive oil in it and I am putting half of the meatballs inside of here. We do not want this to steam. That is very, very important. We wanna brown this meat and I decided to add another drizzle of olive oil. You wanna leave it on the bottom of the pot and not move it for several minutes so it develops that nice crust. Guys, my house smells amazing. Look at that, oh my goodness, so delicious. So now we're gonna get started on batch two. So I'm just repeating the same process and doing the same thing. Ugh, this is gonna be so good. So once these are browned, I'm gonna remove them from the pan and then I'm gonna put in the onion and garlic, the part I reserved, 
brown it just for a couple of minutes and then I'm adding all of the sauce and all of the paste to the Instant Pot. And I'm adding the dried spices, so the basil, the parsley, and I also love to add um, the dried red chili flakes. It makes it a little bit hot. If you don't want this, don't add it. And I absolutely love this wine. I love adding it to the sauce. I'm using half a cup. If you don't want to put wine in, you don't have to. You could just add some extra water. And I'm just giving everything a really good mix. And now I'm gonna add two bay leaves. Bay leaves add a really great flavor to the sauce. Just make sure you remove them when the sauce is finished cooking so you don't accidentally eat them. I'm also adding one teaspoon of cane sugar. If you wanna keep this sugar free, you can omit this. I think it really adds to the sauce. And I'm adding some filtered water. And then I'm gonna add all of the, the meatballs to the Instant Pot. This recipe really could not get any easier. I absolutely love it. This was the first time I made sauce in my Instant Pot and I was pretty blown away by it. So now we're gonna put the, the cover on. Make sure the seal is on. I take it off when I make yogurt, make sure it's on. And you'll notice that the pin is dropped. That's because it's not set to pressure yet. And, but you wanna make sure this is set to, to closed, to pressure. So I'm using the meat stew setting for 10 minutes on low pressure. If you don't have the meat or stew option on your Instant Pot, don't worry about it. Set it to pressure, but set it to low pressure for 10 minutes. Okay guys, it's time to start the pasta. So I'm bringing a small saucepan to boil, adding a little bit of sea salt, and then I like to use red lentil pasta. I really prefer this pasta. Just if you use this type, it has a tendency to boil over, so just be careful. Use any pasta you like. I am carefully releasing the pressure from the Instant Pot. I like to do a natural pressure release for about 10 minutes and then you push the vent button, make sure all of the pressure is released and it, it only takes a couple of seconds until the pin drops all the way down and then it is safe to open. Oh, wait for this. Oh, look at that. That looks so incredibly delicious. Again, usually my sauce would take at least 45 minutes and this in 10 minutes is incredible. So now I'm adding some fresh basil and parsley to the sauce. I really like to add the fresh ingredients, the fresh herbs last. And now I'm plating it up. Look at this. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, this pasta was absolutely delicious. It also is great for meal prepping. A few delicious meatballs on top, high protein. So incredibly delicious. I've reserved some of the fresh herbs for the garnish. And then I like to top mine with some grated Pecorino Romano cheese because it is just so incredibly delicious. Okay guys, as promised, now it's time for the low carb version of this delicious spaghetti and meatballs. So I'm grabbing two medium zucchini and my spiralizer. This is my handheld one. It's inexpensive, it's easy, it works great. So I'm just um, making some zoodles and look at this. Oh my goodness. You would think it's high carb pasta, but it isn't. It is absolutely delicious. I love to eat this after a long day at work because I know it's healthy and nutritious, but without any extra added carbs. Um, of course, garnishing with some fresh herbs and some fresh Pecorino Romano cheese. Well guys, thanks for cooking with me today. I'll see you next time. Bye guys. I'm such a dweeb. Spaghetti and meatballs. I know. Italian spaghetti and meatballs, yes, they go together, obviously. <laughs> Cooking, eating, I absolutely love food. <laughs>